Welcome to Right on the Money, the weekly talk show with interviews you can use to help you maximize your money and optimize your financial future. Before moving forward with any of the ideas discussed on the show, always consult your financial advisor, insurance professional, or tax consultant. Looking for financial help or a second opinion? We can help you in your search. And now, your host of Right on the Money, syndicated financial columnist and money color commentator, Steve Savant. Well, welcome back to Right on the Money in our series on money and metals. I'm Steve Savant, syndicated financial columnist and money color commentator. In this segment, we're talking about profiting from gold without even owning it. Well, there's a magic show with investment consultant Michael Young. Michael, um, what we're going to talk about is not buying futures. This is different, right? We talked about at the end of the segment, we're talking about buying futures. People know a lot of people will do options in the S&P. Mm -hmm. Some people do options in gold. Now we're going to talk about Using gold, I would use, maybe that's a better term. I'm using it. I'm not owning it. I'm using it and playing the volatility game, the spread. Talk about how you do this, because this is your area forte. This is your wheelhouse. Correct. Talk about that. Okay. Well, you know, there's there's uh, the spot markets. People are, are probably not as familiar with uh, trading gold, trading currencies, trading silver, uh, which is what our firm does uh, in an international basis. And so, you know, the development of algorithms as technology has kind of evolved allows us uh, to have major market inputs, data inputs within microseconds to mathematically create a probability of market direction, which some of the time is right. Let's say it's right a lot of the time, but a lot of the time it's wrong. And so the systems mm -hmm. that you want to use when you're trading these gold, uh, gold and silver should have certain hedging features or capabilities in place so that when you're wrong, you can take advantage of the movements that move away from you when the price of gold goes down when you think it's going up. So we're talking about trading right now, systematically. So when you're trading the price of gold, Obviously, you're, you're essentially assuming that it's going to go in a specific direction, up or down, just to be basic in terms of, uh -huh. of vernacular. And, it, and it's the market movement of gold per ounce uh -huh. or whatever your trade size is that will either make you money or lose you money, essentially. Uh -huh. uh, but the volatility is such that on a daily basis, we have the ability to trade many times. And ultimately, we've carried an extremely effective win-loss ratio because of our, you know, some of the proprietary nature of our technology we've developed. But that's a way that you can make money in the gold markets just by trading the spot mm -hmm. price of gold. Mm -hmm. Now, let's make sure we understand the definition here. I think a lot of our listeners, they understand if they wanted to buy options, and one of the bigger ones that people do because they can see the VIX report is the S&P 500. So they can understand, I'm buying a call, I'm mm -hmm. buying a put, you know, depending upon how I feel, where the market's going. Am I doing that same thing by buying gold on the spot, like as you've, you've talked about? Is that different? It is different, yes. You're not waiting for that particular option to expire or for the time frame of that option to buy and sell. What you're looking at on spot, essentially, is you're owning a particular price point at that moment where, where the spot mm. market is. The good thing about gold and how it works within our systems, or when I say systems, the algorithms that we've developed, is uniquely gold and silver. The spot prices are correlated, indeed, to the futures market. Okay, to the options you're mm -hmm. talking about. And those futures uh, are based on true buy and sell agreements. I will buy this amount and I, and I commit to sell this amount. And so what we see within our, within our trading is a very defined range mm. of price on a daily basis uh, within the gold uh, spot markets. And for us, it's, it's, it's been very systematically appealing to trade that true range on mm -hmm. a daily basis of what the price of gold is. We've been very successful at that. So this is being done, actually, I was going to say daily, but it sounds like it's happening. It could be within moments. It's, it's it, yeah, well, in our case, I mean, right. there's different types of trading. There may be some what we would call high-frequency traders that are really just trying to utilize technology to, to, to grab a, a tiny bit here and there. Mm -hmm. We're actually looking at cycles, and we're trading mm -hmm. cycles. But, yes, we trade multiple times a day. Mm -hmm. So, we, you know, we're looking at hourly, four-hour windows, 15-minute mm -hmm. windows, uh, you know, we're trading multiple times every day systematically. All right. Well, when you mean systematic, do you mean auto? Automatically. Trading. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Is there an advantage for this kind of auto trading? There is an advantage. Well, you know, in, in what we've developed, it does many things. One is that when our systems are seeing high probabilities of directional moves, mm -hmm. we can execute on those trades even if we're asleep. The system will work. So it's working mm -hmm. 24 hours a day, essentially, while the markets are open. I, I think that's a curiosity for most of our listeners, too. The market 
is 24 7. 24 is five and a half essentially, but you're right, it's it's going on a regular basis. So if you're so, sleeping. So, so it's five and a half, there's a couple. Uh, there's, a, there's a day and a half. And, day and a half and, where nobody's doing anything. Very little. Okay. And there's times in between in each 24 hour mm -hmm. period between markets being open and closed where you see very limited activity. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, yeah, it's open uh, for business on a regular basis. Wow. So, so there's trading going on. Auto trading is the, the algorithms are set in place. This is happening when you're asleep. It's happening when we're asleep. And, and we've developed nine algorithms, I should say. It's not just one. Mm -hmm. So there's a number of algorithms that come in place. The, the, the hardest part of developing a proper system is making sure that uh, when, a, when a direction counter trends against what your, your mathematics would have you know, said the probability mm -hmm. should be, how are you hedging or taking advantage of that market move to mitigate loss and to turn that into profits? And I can't go into all mm -hmm. that on the show today, but uh, we've done that. And so while it's trading on a regular basis, mm -hmm. even while we're sleeping, the rules of the system are keeping your, your, mm -hmm. our money safe. What kind of examples of successful trading? You know, you're doing defensive strategies, mm -hmm. successful. Why would I want to do that? And what kind of money am I looking at? Well, we've had uh, we've had a very good run. We've had our 29th. We're about to conclude our 29th straight month of gains for our clients. Uh, the win loss ratios in 2015 were 95 percent, and. Again, this was not from a probability of being right 95% of the time. It has to do with how to mitigate and, and reduce risk mm -hmm. in when you're wrong and how to hedge out of, uh, of incorrect trades. And the way that the system was designed, it's been extremely successful doing that. We have audits that we can share uh, with clients, uh, but uh, I would say that you know, going on 29 straight months mm -hmm. is a pretty good track record. Uh, and we had uh, you know, high single digit gross gains last month, or last year, mm -hmm. excuse me, uh, audited. So we, it's been pretty good. Now, besides, do you do anything outside of gold itself too? We trade uh, the silver markets, uh, the USD mm -hmm. to the silver to silver, and and, and four current uh, currency pairs, concurrent currency pairs. So we mm -hmm. trade currencies at the same time, uh, four different pairs simultaneously, in mm -hmm. the same systems. Different mm -hmm. system for gold, different for silver, different for currency. Mm -hmm. It's the same navigation uh, algorithmic tools that we've that we've built. For most clients, are they looking to accumulate? asset or just accumulate profitability on this or are they taking it for income? Uh, what kind of people are doing this? Yeah, okay, so we, it depends on the appetite of the client. A lot of people will see the gains and they're fairly, they're fairly aggressive gains. Um, and if you're doing this month after month, which we've, we have a history of doing, then you start to see a compounding effect on, on your principal growing. So a lot of people mm -hmm. will end up keeping their money in. Uh, we do have clients that pull it out, a portion out on a monthly basis for uh, supplemental income. And mm -hmm. we do have some that when they've gotten to a point where they've acquired uh, enough of a, uh, an account growth that they'll pull their principal out. And then, quote unquote, they're playing on, on somebody else's mm -hmm. dime, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. So it really depends on the client profile. In your experience, and I know that you've had a kind of a positive run on that, and who knows how long that'll last, what kind of number are you looking at? Would you say, do you guys do rate of return by day, by week, by month? What, what, how do you gauge? Well, it, uh, you know, this is one of these forward thinking statements. We can only look back in terms of what we've done. And the mm -hmm. currency system has done phenomenally well. The gold and silver systems do, do even, you know, even better returns. So, I mean, I would say mm -hmm. at the, you know, last, you know, our audit in 2015 was 9.77% monthly mm -hmm. gains. That was prior mm -hmm. to splitting with our company. So our mm -hmm. clients didn't earn all that, which is a pretty large number. Mm -hmm. Now, the money in, though, you could lose some money, too. Yeah. Talk about that. Okay. It's a, yeah, absolutely, you could lose it. We consider this more of an aggressive um, uh, portion of your portfolio in terms of what it is, because mm -hmm. trading, you could incur loss. Uh, the fact is, our systems are built ultimately to auto-hedge. And so mm -hmm. what we feel like, there's, we've mitigated the downside risks substantially. Mm -hmm. Our win-loss percentage is massive. Um, our risk of ruin ratio mm -hmm. is less, for 100% of an account mm -hmm. balance, is less than one hundredth of 1% by audit, so which would say that you have less than one hundredth of one percent likelihood of losing your money, mm -hmm. although you're making these kinds of gains. So you could lose, and we could lose. Uh, mm -hmm. We have not had a losing month though in the last 28 months. Uh, we've survived the uh, uncoupling of the Swiss franc to uh, the euro. It was mm -hmm. one of the largest, largest mm -hmm. moves in the financial market in the history of the world, actually. Uh, and we came out of that month with a slight profit, mm -hmm. even though we were down substantially on certain positions we had, which for us was a testimony to the hedging strategies. So all of this has got to be, you know, the systems have to be very well thought out and very well designed to expect these black swan events mm -hmm. so that you don't, you know, have great, uh, a great run and then just blow up. We've, we've survived quite a few storms. Well, I'm, I'm considering that most people uh, are going to probably hear this segment and say, well, maybe I should just think about this in my discretionary monies. You know, my venture money or adventure money, not really anything that I'm doing to try to generate income to live on. 
Would you agree with that, or is that too conservative? Or you know, it's, it depends on the client. So you know, we're not we're not advisors, so to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we manage money. We manage money. Mm -hmm. We're an offshore entity. Um, when I say offshore, with the other six and a half billion people that live outside of the United States, mm -hmm. um, and we have an international diverse clientele. And so it depends, I would say, you know, that you would never want to put too large of a percentage of your portfolio in any investment. Mm -hmm. uh, all I can say is that we've worked extraordinarily hard, almost six mm -hmm. years in development of the system, uh, whereby we want and need to mitigate the risk factor so that we can stay long term. And so for us, I would look at this as a higher risk opportunity. However, we've done a very good job mitigating that risk. So have it represent a portion of your portfolio. Mm -hmm. And if you want to buy gold, Maybe you would take some of your profits that you're making on a monthly basis and actually buy physical gold with it. And that's how I would look at it. Say, mm -hmm. hey, we're trading gold so that you can buy gold. Well, there's so many ways to do this. Bullion, certificates, I can buy coin, I got jewelry, I'm buying futures, I'm buying gold on spot. Well, listen, that's all the time we have for this week's show. I want to thank Michael Young for being our very special guest. But before I go, remember what the good Reverend John Wesley once said. Make all you can. Give all you can. Save all you can. I'm Steve Savant. We'll see you next week right here on Right on the Money. For more information on this week's money topics, just go to our website at www.rightonthemoneyshow.com and follow Steve's daily postings on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. When it comes to retirement, money management, small business, insurance coverage, college funding, or budgeting, we have the interviews you can use.